incremental routines. There's a Shakespearean question to postpone or not to uh, auto postpone. And for many years, I thought that the best thing was to not auto postpone because you have to know the pros and cons. And the biggest con to auto postpone is that you need to really prioritize well your collection or you will send elements to the oblivion. It will be forgotten. It will be in your collection. You will back up those topics, elements uh, in your collection many times, but you will never see those ever in your life. And I knew that Piotr Wozniak, he always used auto postpone. So I want to share something with you. So there's actually a setting, a uh, filter criteria, criterion you can use. Uh, okay. So what happened that at some point in my collection, I had auto postpone or none. And I have about 11,000 elements out of 18,000. So slightly more than half of my topics uh, have been postponed. And look at this case, 1,000. What is this? I will never see this. Cognitive inertia, which is one of the examples in another video that I shared that I discovered by serendipity by doing subsets of my longest intervals. And let's see what pops from what I imported at the very beginning you know, of my collection. And that happened that, oh, that was lost. And I will, for me, that's miss. I would have wanted to have seen this before, right? Why I didn't? Because of the uh, auto postpone. Why? Because I was not prioritizing well. So first, you have parameters. Usually, you will uh, postpone topics most of the time, not items. So, a vote against auto postpone is if you want to w see the zero. You want to see the zero at all times. Every day, when you finish your session, you want zero plus zero. There's nothing outstanding. Don't do it. Don't do it if that's the reason. It's just lying to yourself. It doesn't have anything. You're not gaining anything. And if you have the aversion to see a number that is not zero, please watch a uh, video that I shared some years ago. Because that's an underlying issue, uh, if, if that's the case. Then is okay, let's say that I want to have to postpone. What's going to happen? Now, let me filter. So I have at least, yeah, two reps. Uh, let's do three reps. This one, for instance. So in this case, I did already one, at least one repetition and I extracted something and I never, f wait, sorry. And I never finished this because it was sent to oblivion. i look at the high hitch priority. It was very high, very high, very high. <sighs> and because of the auto postpone, the priority has been decreased. I cannot see how much every postpone. I only see the current state. So after nine postpones, it's almost 80%, which is super low. I'm not going to see this in my outstanding queue. So what ha happens, that the interval was two days, two days, 800. But that was 800 days when it was scheduled by the end of 2022. Now it's 2024. So let's pretend that this is, uh, I do this repetition today. So I don't want to decide the interval with control shift R. So I will cheat my way and I will do the subset. Let's pretend that they're also consistent with hypothesis of finding an, uh, well, for whatever reason now, uh, it doesn't work, no worries. Let's pretend I do something and I move on to the next rep. So what happened? Hey, the interval now it's 1,255. How so? It was 800 is because it's set to today. So instead of the original outstanding date, that was, uh, I forgot, but it was November 2022, I think. It has added all of the time that has been outstanding. So when it become outstanding, plus all of the days that kept being outstanding. And what's the next interval? The next interval is more or less set to the previous interval. So the one that had scheduled. If I did the repetition on the day that was outstanding, in this case, at 100. But that's way too far to the future. I won't see this in 
until 2026, it's very, and the priority is about the same. So it's very likely I will never see that again. I will repeat. Hey, that was into oblivion. I recovered that element. It will be set to oblivion once again. Let's do another example. In this case, it's just 24 days. Let's see. Okay, because I did one repetition, automatic repetition. I don't know what, how I did this. Could be many things. I don't know. But it was postponed seven times. And then after the rep, seven times more. And that was scheduled about less the same day, December instead of uh, no November. But now we have a short interval of 24 days. So now, if I do repeat the same, postpone memory is a form of parablam. I do the rep. Oh, come on, what's this issue? So I'm having a bug. I don't know if it's related because I'm doing this flow for whatever reason. Now, what happened? Hey, it's 25. The previous interval was 24. Now it's set to 450. Because again, it's the natural time that passed. So the original interval plus the days that have passed being outstanding, left outstanding. And the next interval will be about the same it was before. So in this case, I don't mind. Because I will see this in 25 days. Cool. But if the in Interval is already huge. The next one will be huge because it will be about the same. So therefore, if I use auto postpone, my parameters are quite generous in the sense that the interval interval could be I don't know up to one thousand days. What's going to happen? That whenever I do this element, if I don't reset it myself, the next rep would be about one thousand the next time. And what happens if I do just a hundred? It will be that eventually the auto postpone won't work. It won't. It will always be skipped. So therefore, it won't be postponed because the interval interval is above the threshold. That means that eventually will happen several things. For instance, I don't use. I haven't used auto postpone in a long time in this collection. So I have eighteen thousand two hundred and thirteen topics out of them, out of which 17,780 are outstanding today. So almost most of them, almost 400 are memorized and not uh, outstanding today. This is huge. Makes sense if I never do auto postpone. The intervals are not growing that quick. So makes sense that it's a matter of time that this happens. But if I use it to postpone, what's going to happen? That if I protect the first 10% of the priority queue, or I set the limit, well, what's the default? Ah, yeah, 10% of my priority queue. Cool. This is going to be postponed and postponed until the interval, instead of three days, let's say, it comes 100. So I cannot keep postponing because they have reached the bottom already. Or, or the sailing, depends how you look at it. So it's a matter of time. It's just a matter of more time that if I don't use it to postpone, but then doomed to the same thing. And what I will be ten, tempted to do is to increase those uh, maximum intervals and more time because I still have thousands and thousands of topics. So I want to push and push further. So the thresholds will be higher. And what will happen? That I will end up to the same issue, but even worse. Because the next interval, instead of being 24, like this case, it will be 1,000. So the next repetition will be sent to 1,000. This is actually what you want if the priority is very low. Something you realize when your collection grows is that you will send elements to oblivion. And that's the correct thing to do. You won't see that again, unless someday you change your mind and you search for it, since a priority and so on. But most of the time, those will be sent to oblivion. Why? Because there's an overflow of information and this is ever growing. It only becomes worse. So now I have 17,000 pending. 
70,000 outstanding that I'm not going to do today. But this is just going to grow in the 20,000, 25, 30,000. It will become worse and worse. So the key here, um, I'm not skilled enough without a postpone, is that you will take this incrementally. You will increase the, those parameters. So the parameters doesn't filter that many and are not skip. So most of the topics get um, postponed anyways. And you have seen, you may have seen um, screenshots of Piotr Wozniak. And he has elements or even items with 990 something or 100 and something out of, out of postpones. Uh, postpones. In the repetition doesn't differentiate. So what I did is I had this on. If you're a newbie, don't do it. So wait until you get used to the priorities. Once more or less the priorities are well set with your collection, you can start using it. And I start very low. That it only postpones a few days. Most of the conditions are skipped. Like for instance, you can save 25% of the priority queue and only 50, so it doesn't go further, stuff like this. I didn't for many years. And that's something that will change today. That's why I'm shooting this video today, by the way. Because hey, now that my collection is just 18,000 topics, that is very small in r relative terms. And more or less at the first 25th percent of my collection, of my priority queue, I would say that more or less up to here, more or less, it's, it's well prioritized. The blue zone is still very so-so because I, I'm still carrying on mistakes from the past. So I will turn out the postpone on from now on. And let's see what happens in the long term. And that's the key. The effects you do with the postpone will only be seen in the long term. And once you realize those, there's no undo. So you have to know, really know what you're doing. That's why my rule of thumb, priorities first, then auto postpone. Don't auto postpone because you want to see zeros in the outstanding. It will solve your problem today because it won't trigger that uh, fear, that phobia from you, but it will be hurting you in the long term. Those are my two cents today. Let's see what my future self will tell. Nothing more to add today and See you incrementally.